When you get an email from somebody who's looking to have a meeting, one of the easiest ways to create less clutter in your inbox and be more efficient is to convert this directly into your meeting request. Hey everybody, this is Neil Malik from Knack Training and this is another two minute tutorial. So the first thing we can do is we can click on this email from Eric. Notice that Eric sent an email to myself and my coworker Alejandro. We can choose the reply with meeting button that's directly next to the forward button at the top of the screen. Replying with meeting does exactly what you think it should do, which is take the body of Eric's email, put it into the meeting request, take Eric's name and Alejandro's name and add them as attendees to the meeting. Incredibly easy to do and most people just sort of uh, ignore the fact that that button even exists. Now, a different way of approaching the same problem is to use the click and drag technique. Well, if you left click on Eric's email and you drag it down to the calendar, you'll notice that it creates an appointment out of this. It doesn't invite Eric and Alejandro to it. But if I instead use the right mouse button and drag that to the calendar, so right mouse and drag down there, you'll notice, oh, do you want it to be a meeting request or do you want it to be an appointment? The difference here being that a meeting request includes everybody else on it automatically. So I can choose a copy here as a meeting request. And again, Eric and Alejandro go into the two field. Now our third option here would be if your meeting request needed to get rolled up with other things. So up here in the quick steps, there's this create new button. And a quick step is just a button that does a couple of things simultaneously. So let's say for example, uh, that Alejandro and I are working on a sales team together and we have somebody who supports us who'll schedule our flights for us. We'll do here meeting with flights. Under the first choose an action drop down menu, I can tell it to reply with meeting, of course. And then if I click on add an action, I can then forward this email to my assistant. Use the forward option here. Forward it to, let's say, Jacqueline. Go under show options, and in the text field, I can even do something like uh, please schedule flights for all attendees. And now I click finish. I now have a button that says meeting with flights, right? So I get an email from Eric. Eric schedules something with Alejandro and I by clicking on meeting with flights. And I get that first meeting request just like I did before with Eric and Alejandro on it. But I also now get a forwarded email from Eric to myself and Alejandro where it's going off to Jacqueline and she's being requested to schedule flights for all attendees. And I can also include now any additional information that might be valuable. So there are three useful ways of getting things out of your inbox and into your calendar.